In Shadowrun 5th edition, it will always eventually be the case that bullets will start to fly. When this happens, the natural thing to do is to find something big and solid and get behind it. But what if you still want to try and shoot at the target behind the brick wall? Well, then you'll need to understand the rules for shooting through barriers. The first thing you'll need to do is perform a firearms attack test as normal to see if you would be successful in shooting your target. If your target is using a barrier for cover and is not completely concealed, then chances are you're not going to need to shoot through the barrier. If you succeed in your attack, then you just hit the target and you don't need to worry about the barrier. If you miss, well, then you miss. However, if you tie the defender in the opposed test, you're considered to have hit the barrier and should continue to determine if you shoot them through that barrier. If the barrier completely blocks the target and the attacker cannot see the target, then the attacker will get a minus six dice pool modifier for performing a blind fire attack. However, the defender is also effectively considered unaware of the attack and does not get to defend. If the barrier is a transparent material, like a piece of ballistic glass, then the attacker receives no blind fire penalty and the defender can defend as normal. If the barrier is a translucent material, like smoked glass, the defender can still defend, but the attacker may receive visibility modifiers, like those for smoke or fog. This situation is left to GM discretion. Now that you've gotten your situation in order, rolled your dice, and determined that your bullet is on target, you need to see if you're able to shoot through the barrier. Before you go any further, you'll need to make sure you have handy the barrier rating of the material being penetrated. A table can be found on page 197 of the SR5 Core Rulebook. Determine the modified damage value of your attack. If this number does not exceed the armor rating of the barrier, adjusted by the weapon's armor penetration of course, then the bullet stops dead and nothing happens. However, if the modified damage value exceeds the AP adjusted armor value of the barrier, then the bullet goes through. In this case, the barrier will take some damage first, one point of damage if a single bullet was fired, two points of damage if a three round burst was fired, three points of damage if a six round burst was fired, and four points of damage if it was a 10 round full auto. The damage taken by the wall is subtracted from the modified damage value of the attack, and the target now resists the new reduced damage using normal damage resistance rules. Thanks for watching. Tell me what rules you'd like me to do a video on next, and if you liked this video, please feel free to click the like button and subscribe so you can get more videos like this one. Also, follow me on Twitter at GMFunkyTown, where I post updates to this and my other channels, as well as general musings on Shadowrun and its rule systems. Finally, you should check out more of my GM screen videos and my new video series, Diary of a Game Master, by clicking on the links to the left. And thanks for watching!